Yeah, that 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 brings us to what I was here for today. <laughs> it's like the vortex on the, That brings us actually that segues neatly into what I was about to say today. Right. The book club. Because yes, uh, can we get the vortex in now? Can we uh say me now? Because folks, uh, today in past, and in closing. No, it, uh, in the past, in the past, uh, past episodes, we've made reference to this, and today it is my particular pleasure to uh, formally introduce the Weymouth After Dark Book Club. Because I believe it was the California Raisins who said, "Books, check them out." And as I like to say, read. Your Lord is most bountiful. He who taught you the use of the pen to man who knew not. And that's why today we have this new idea. We mentioned it on the show before, the Weymouth After Dark Book, book Club. Club. Yes, it's a, way, it's, a, it's a way to sort of enrich your life by reading the right books. New books uh, published by Weymouth After Dark Publishing, where our motto is Books for Today. And I have some of them right here. My first selection, of course, is a work of poetry. We see this. Robert Burns, Drunk. These are recently uh, discovered poems by Robert Burns, written while he was inebriated. And I'll tell you folks, that uh, turns out that that Scottish scenery looks a little better from under the table. Uh, uh. Robert Burns, drunk. That's our first selection. Venice. We have other selections too. History, of course. History is the story of life. I believe it's Thucydides who said, His human nature being what it is, history is bound to repeat itself. So what better way to bone up for the next time that things happen all over again than by reading history. Right here we have some military history, a uh, primary source of sorts, uh, written by one of the most underrated uh, military minds of World War II. Oh, <laughs> except that was the wrong one. But here it is. Memoirs of General Burkhalter. Can we just get a, a closer shot of General Burkhalter for a yes, second? Yes, Memoirs of General Burkhalter. Wow. It's a famous book because he actually says in it, you know, I never knew about that ice bucket with the radio in it that Kinch had. We also have children's books so that you can sort of live from the cradle to the grave with women after dark style madness and hilarity. This is one actually written by uh, people on women after dark. You may remember Nicole on that episode, uh, on the nature themed episode, Clark. who had the uh, very fat cat, although I should point out I made a mistake in that one. My aunt's cat is actually 32 pounds and not 20 like I thought. But here's a book written by her and I, a children's book the Cat Who Canvassed for Carrie. And that's a great book. Registered right. voter on the door? Yeah, he's, ca he's canvassing. And that's a great book right there. But the best one I think, the best one I think, is our work of science. Uh, I should say my work of science, and that's why I'm going to consider this our book of the week, largely because I wrote it. The Wayne Without Dark Book of the Week. The Wayne Without Dark Book of the Week, which uh, you've already seen before in this minorly mistake-laden episode. We can never see it enough. I can never see it enough. This is a book actually written by me. It's well known that I'm one of the, uh, the great amateur paleontologists of the world. And this is a book written by me called When Grapefruit Ruled the Earth. This is a book, you know, where I use new fossil evidence to demonstrate that uh, plants, specifically fruits and vegetables, were once the dominant form of animal life on the planet. And that's a great book written by me, and that's Book of the Week. And I think this is a good time, for, uh, Frank, if we can see Frank here, to uh, also... Now, you're saying that there was a period when grapefruit ruled the earth. Yes. Madness. It was madness. And I think it's a good time to do a little plug for our lecture tour, folks. Like the monkeys said, you know, we might be coming to your town. Uh, our lecture tour, the Weymouth After Dark lecture tour. Absolutely. You may remember from the first episode, Peebo, the satirological, theological, philosophical, singing cow puppet. Well, we have uh, our lecture tour right here. Can we see the picture of this? There we go. It's called Frank, Joey, and Peebo Discuss Trends in Modern Tafsir. As I've said, the monkeys said it before, we might be coming to your town, so do catch that out. Peebo, famous for his commentaries on the second sura. Absolutely, and I mean that. God that is believe good. me, if I might say myself, that is a hoot nanny. You want to get those tickets? It's a hoot nanny, but, no, but but it's also it's brought to you again by the truth. Absolutely. The so get those tickets, truth. reserve them today. Taking the, the um, a lead from uh, from Eddie Vedder. Actually, we're not using Ticketmaster, but we have other venues Don't. that you can. Uh, yeah. Rich or poor, they all they all come to see this. And uh, okay, we can probably drop the graphic now. Beautiful as it is, there they are, the big three. The big three. And there we are. 
And there we are. Ma this is, this is fantastic. Women's After Dark Book Club. It's kind of like Oprah's. It's kind of like Oprah's, but it's got more books about Bo General Burkhall. And, and General Burkhall. General Burkhall. The books that Oprah misses out on. She can only read so many. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and we sort of, you know, combed yeah. the libraries for those other ones. And okay. the bookstores, the bookshelves.